Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to take this opportunity to introduce you to the new co-host of the Vintage Vehicle Show, Mr. John D'Agostino. Well, maybe not, but John, this is your seventh interview on the Vintage Vehicle Show, correct? Yes, it is, Lance. We were much younger many, many interviews ago. Yeah, I think we started actually back in 1999. Yeah, in, down in Portland. Down in Portland, Ron and Custom Show, yeah, yes. You had a, a blue, baby blue Lincoln. I forgot the what you called it. The blue Catanental that lives in New York now. Yes, yeah. with the big candid lights, ice blue pearl, yes. And you're stuck on these Cadillacs. What's, what's the deal here? Actually, I've had a, ever since actually 1991, I've been building a number of Cadillacs. I think I'm up to number 12 right now now and I saved this Elvis car for probably the last of a trilogy that I actually did. Uh, actually back in 98 I built the Maryland car, the 53 Cat Eldorado uh, that, that actually just, just wowed the public. It went to Pebble Beach and sold, lives in Sydney, Australia. Then a few years after that, actually two years ago, I came back with a Packard, the 41 Packard called Gable. Beautiful There's car. another history car, historical car and I saved the best for last. So there's, right here is my, my Elvis tribute car. Oh, it's, it's perfect being a tribute car for Elvis, 59 Cadillac, perfect, the color perfect, uh, it, the Brits, it's, it's just, it's wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Did Elvis come to mind first and it's like, I want to do a tribute car to Elvis, what would it be? Or do you start building this and it, it evolved into an Elvis Actually, car? I really wanted to start out with Elvis when I started the trilogy back in the mid-90s. But then after I thought about it, I said, you know what, I'm going to save Elvis for last. So that's when I figured he had a 59 Cadillac Eldorado similar to this, except it wasn't customized, and his color was purple. He loved lavenders and purples. So I says, I'm going to start off with Marilyn, end up with my middle car with Gable, and save the last of the trilogy for Elvis. And I think we nailed it with this one. Yeah, beautiful job. Thank you. The roof has obviously been altered. What else have you done to the car? Okay, first off, what we did, we chopped the top three and a half inches. So the windshield is chopped three and a half, actually not chopped three and a half inches, the windshield is made in Finland. All my wraparound glass is made in Finland. So there's no cutting, no grinding, they fit just like a stock window with the rubber around it and everything. Uh, chopped it three and a half inches, I made this into a three position top. Full top, which, which uh, has a metal piece painted like the car, scalp like the car, that fits right in here. It's a convertible latch deal here where it keeps you out of the rain if you happen to drive in the rain, which we don't. And then I went to the half top as you're looking now. This is the trick deal right here. This has all been hand formed. All this Lando iron's been all done correctly. Uh, then instead of giving it a straight parallel sh shot like this, I actually gave it a little contour to the really top good choice. to give it a real nice flowing look. And what's really trick about the car is when you, it, with, in third position is no top. When I remove this top, which could be removed in a minute or two, you have some beautiful scooped areas, which what I did, I moved the whole back seat up 16 inches and I built all new sheet metal behind the seats and made it into pretty working scoops that actually have little chrome bullet spears in it to match the front and the back. Everything's all balanced and it's got the extended console coming through it very 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 elegant you have been one of the major I mean if you know if if the custom car world had to pick out two or three of the very top people in the world you're gonna be in that um, appreciate that appreciate that very when, much when 20 years ago or 15 years ago were you just doing what you wanted to do and you're kind of going gee people are kind of paying attention to what I'm doing um, you know, how, how did you how did you become an overnight success? In, well, in 10 it or started years? off slow. I mean, back in the late '60s, when I was in high school, I started off with the '56 Chevy, which is the only actually Chevy I ever owned was a '56 out of all the all the cars. And since then, I started doing the Chop Mercury's and and a couple Fords and a lot of the bigger cars and all that. But it's just you know reading the magazines, building model cars, looking at the works of Barris, Baylon, Winfield, Cushenberry, Starbird. Bill Hines, those are my heroes. And by focusing on those guys and seeing what they've done, it actually gave me a vision to do what I want to do. So John, I, I want to say two things. I want to say thank you for being on the Vintage Vehicle Show again. Always a pleasure, Lance. And, and, and I want to let you know you did really well on your audition. You, you can be co-host of the show if you'd like. Hey, I'll take you up on that okay. anytime. Right. Thank you very much. Okay, Thanks. thank you.